We are sure you have noticed all the recent work on our roadways around the county. We have plenty more improvements planned and there's no doubt we've got better roads ahead. A few recent projects include the bridge and roadway improvements on Belcher Road, Clark Road, and Kist Road. There's also a new roundabout at the intersection of Clark and Sugar Ridge. A key focus of Spartanburg County's strategic vision plan is to accelerate the improvement of our roadways. We've made a promise to actively and aggressively work to achieve that goal and we are confident we are heading in the right direction. My name is Travis Brown and I'm the Director of Public Works for Spartanburg County. I'm excited and appreciate the opportunity to share what we've been working on, especially as it relates to the Penny Sales Tax Program. Spartanburg County voters approved a capital penny sales tax in November of 2023, with all funds earmarked for 577 roadway improvement projects across the county. That includes resurfacing, county corridor reconstructions, intersection improvements, stormwater improvements, bridge replacements, and other roadway safety improvements. We didn't waste any time and expect the first penny projects to begin this summer. This includes the resurfacing of North Daniel Morgan Avenue from North Church Street to West St. John Street, which is behind the new Spartanburg County Courthouse. A portion of Highway 290 will also be resurfaced. That project begins at the intersection with Reval Road and continues to North Dangler Road, which is next to Burns High School. If you travel either of these roads, you know how busy they are and how badly they need to be resurfaced. The good news is that we expect both of these projects to be complete by the end of this calendar year. Also, the majority of the work is scheduled to be performed at night, which should help to minimize disruptions to our drivers during their daily commutes. Over the last five years, the county has increased its investments in roadway infrastructure by more than $82 million. Those projects are beyond the scope of the Penny Program, but all have either been completed, are under construction, or we are actively working to get the projects to construction. We also wanted to provide Spartanburg County residents with additional resources so they have more information on all of our roadway projects because it is only with their support that we will continue to improve our roadways. So we have created an interactive project viewer that provides details on all of the roadway projects being managed by Spartanburg County to include the Penny projects. We also believe that safety on our roadways is paramount and spent the last year creating a safety action plan for Spartanburg County. Our council ultimately adopted the plan this past April. In addition to identifying our high injury network and strategies for eliminating fatal and severe traffic related injuries, the plan put us in a position to apply for a grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. We are looking to leverage $4 million in local county funds to obtain $16 million from the U.S. DOT. If we are successful, this will represent an additional $20 million in investment in our roadways, and particularly roadway safety projects. Our council strengthened its commitment to improve roadway safety by establishing a target year of 2040 to achieve Vision Zero meaning our goal as a county is to eliminate severe and fatal traffic-related injuries on all of our roadways by 2040. One life lost on our roadways is one too many. We will have additional details and information on our roadway projects in upcoming Penny 101 videos. Spromberg County has better roads ahead.